if you're having trouble staying motivated and you want to avoid things like writer's block and creative block in the future, this video is going to be for you. So let's, first of all, let's figure out what motivation is, okay? Motivation is not a state of mind. It's an emotional state, okay? It comes from a mental state, but it's not. Now, when you don't have motivation, you really, you got to hear what's going on in your brain that's causing the lack of motivation. There's a great, great, great book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. You need to go read it. Need, I use that word very strongly, the word need. You need to go read it. If you're watching this video and you're having trouble staying fucking motivated, then yeah, you need to go read that video. Oh, and by the way, don't watch the rest of this video if you're soft. This is going to be a tough love video, just so you know. So brace yourself. Um, being motivated, right? If you're having trouble staying motivated, you know what? It really, you know, I had a fucking script. I had some shit written here. I have some shit written. I'm not even going to fucking read it because I know what the fuck I need to talk about. Dude, if you're not motivated, it's because you don't have a sense of urgency. How, how are you not motivated? First of all, why do you need to be motivated? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not motivated. I'm not either, <laughs> bro. I didn't want to fucking, we're at 6 a.m. I've been up for an hour. Bro, I woke up at, I wake up at five every day. I like waking up at five, but I'll tell you, I don't want to do what I usually do when I wake up. When I wake up, usually it's like coffee, water, work. Bro, I don't want to fucking do this. I don't want to make this video right now. I don't want to make the video. But you know why I do it? Because I don't need motivation to do the things I have to do in my life. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, fuck, bro. Like, artists in general are so emotional. Like, all, all of you. And I say you, not us. Because it ain't me. Like, all you guys... You, you need, you, you're so fueled by your emotions. You can't be fueled by your emotions. Stop trying to get fueled by your emotions. Stop letting your emotions dictate the direction of your fucking life, bro. Like, what? Like, I haven't done that. I don't do that shit. Like, uh, obviously, I have to be aware of the emotions, but I don't let my emotions dictate the logic and dictate the steps and dictate the direction. Like, I didn't want to film this video. I didn't want to film the video, but I committed to filming two YouTube videos a week because it's going to help me. <laughs> like, obviously it's going to help me grow my brand and business if I film YouTube videos. So like, I'm going to do two and I'm going to do it. Simple as that. Like motivated, like motivation because it's an emotional driver. It's not a good enough reason. Like it isn't about staying motivated. I only titled the video that for fucking SEO. It's bullshit. It's not about staying motivated. That's not what it's about. It's about throwing away motivation in the first place. I'm not motivated. People say I'm motivated. I'm, I'm really kind of, but not really. I'm, I'm driven and, and I just do it. I just do it. That's it. You think I want to diet? You think I want to have a perfect diet? Fuck no. Sugar and coffee, sugar in my coffee. You know what I'm saying? Pepperoni on the pizza, baby. Like, let's go. Like, but no, bro. I don't. That's not it. It's not that I'm motivated to eat healthy. It's that I feel like I have to eat healthy. I have to hit the gym. It's not like I, I actually like the gym. So that's kind of different. But you get what I mean? Some days I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. Some days I'd love to just sleep in and chill the F out the whole day. But I can't do that right now. Can't. Strong word. So here's something strategic you can actually do, okay? Instead of just me yelling at you because I don't want to just yell at you, okay? I had to yell at you a little just to get you fired up. But I, but I do have something. First of all, go read the book, War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's going to change your life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reread it. It's fucking amazing. But the next idea is, and it comes from the book, it's force yourself to create. Now, here's the deal. I have friends and I know people who like will hear this concept and they just will, they like, they they cannot fucking do it. I don't know why. 
maybe because they want to be motivated. I don't know. But force yourself to create. Okay. If, if you're, you know what? And this applies even if you're not trying to make music a career. All right. Like I, like I have clients who already have great careers and, and, and like they have an awesome nine to five and they want to make music because they love music. They don't necessarily care if their music becomes a career. What I'm going to say applies to you too. It doesn't, you don't have to have to, you don't have to make music a career, but if you're one of the folks watching this, like if you're watching this and you want to make music a career, like make money, what I'm about to tell you is the key, the key, not one of the keys, the, the key is what I'm about to tell you, forcing yourself to create. And again, Stephen Pressfield talks about this, but I'm gonna use another example. I'm gonna use Jerry Seinfeld. If you don't know who Jerry Seinfeld is, then you're a fucking, what's the one below millennial? You're a Gen Zer. You're fucking so young. You don't know shit. Just kidding. If you don't know Jerry Seinfeld, you know, he's great, one of the greatest comedians of all time, had the show Seinfeld. Go, go Google him if you don't know who that is. That's like, that's like not knowing who Michael Jordan is. Jerry Seinfeld's like the Michael Jordan of comedy. Okay, he had one of the most popular shows in comedy of all time. So Jerry Seinfeld, he had this rule, or I, mean, I think he probably still has that rule. He has this rule where he forces himself to sit down and write, write, write jokes or whatever it is, write his jokes, write his routine <clears throat> for three hours a day. And you know what he says? He goes, during those three hours, I don't have to write. I don't have to write, but I can't do anything else. So no phone, no TV, no reading, no errands, no chores. So it's like, well, so if he's not writing, what does he do? He just sits there bored. And I, I actually just heard, um, if you guys not don't know who Nick D is, N-I-C space D. If you don't know who he is, it's okay. He's not as big as Jerry Seinfeld, but somebody you should know. He talked about that creativity comes from boredom. People aren't bored enough. We're too stimulated all the time. We always have somewhere that our minds can be. When your mind is just kind of empty and you're just like sitting there, that's when creativity hits. So force yourself to go to that state. And so in my, in my music production mentorship academy, Rapid Fire Music Academy, I actually teach the same thing to people. Basically what I teach is like, look, because everybody in my academy has something. Like pretty much everyone has a full-time job. Some, of, some people are married or have a, a <clears throat> romantic partner, life partner. Some people even have kids. Um, I, think, I think like two of my clients have kids. So what I tell them is, look, <clears throat> you don't have to do three hours like Jerry Seinfeld. That's not realistic. But you know what you, know what you could do? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Just put a timer. Phone, 30 minutes. Put the phone away. Sit. Turn on your computer. Get ready to make some music. Whatever happens, happens. Create, write, make a beat, mix, who cares, record. I think the problem that we all have is <clears throat> we force ourselves to feel like we have to put out what we create when you don't. So do it every day. Same thing with me. Like pretty much my 5.30 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. every day is creating. It's creating YouTube. It's doing, it's doing this. All right. If, when I'm done with the YouTube video, you know what I'm going to do? I'll probably make some music. Force yourself to create. Force yourself to create and fuck motivation. Motivation is bullshit. It's a fake concept. It's, it's a concept that is not going to benefit you. So stop, stop looking for it. Stop trying to get motivated. Three simple steps today <laughs> for the fucking algorithm, right? Three steps. You guys all want these three hacks, three steps, right? right? Go get the book, War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. That's first step. Second step is schedule a time every single day in your schedule. It could be five days a week. Maybe you have two days off, but go, go try to at least go five days a week. It's the exact same time every day where you sit and force yourself to create. It can be, it can be, I would say minimum 30 minutes. It can be longer, but just 30 minutes. If you can go longer, that's fine. And the third one, throw motivation out the, out the window. Just throw it away. Don't, 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 don't even think about it. Don't want it. Don't ask for it. Don't desire it. Don't think you need it. You don't need it. None of the great performers need motivation. It's bullshit. 